Hi guys. Um, real quick, I um, came up with something I thought was adorable, so I thought I'd show you. Um, I watch a lot of Deb Hoke. Um, it's Deb Hoke's Crafty Cottage, and I'll link her below. And uh, she's very, very, very cool. She's and crafty, crafty, crafty like a fox. She was making what she was doing is taking a toilet paper roll and then cutting it down the side and then making little notebooks, you know, covering them, whatever. And I thought, huh, that's a cute idea. But I know there's people that are squeamish about um, toilet paper rolls. I'm not sure why people, it's just cardboard. There's, anyway, okay. So for my toilet paper squeamish people, you'll be happy to know I used a paper towel roll. So I had this for a couple days and I was, and, um, I had told Deb, gosh, I wish I had thought of that because, you know, she was doing them for Happy Mail, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a fantastic idea. So I sat down, I need to make um, little doodads to go into my challenge for my uh, junk journal for tier Julie Julie's challenge, and I'll link that below. I have till July 10th, but um, it's it's getting close. It's, it's really close. Um, so yeah, I've been talking to Life Mix Jen and we're like, yeah, working on it. But anyway, so I got, I had the rolls and I cut them in half and I was folding them like this to see how big, uh, uh, how much paper I would need and the box. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, huh, dude, those are pockets. light bulb okay so this is what I ended up doing um I have this this paper from uh, the Dollar Tree I believe Tona sent this to me thank you Tona and one sheet I don't think it's six by six could be I don't know I don't measure it does it say no it's just whatever but one sheet of these will totally cover a whole thing so what I did was I can't see I know right I just folded it like this and over and trimmed it off and glued it on and then ta-da trim trim and so I tried to um, if you can see right here you probably can't I tried to staple it on there but it um, I have this itty bitty dinky stapler it didn't work so if you have a big stapler it might work for you plus I was gonna I pulled the bottom off you know and, and like this and then I was gonna use a knife and put the prongs in but it didn't work so but then I just cut copier paper okay this is what it looks like so on the inside oops it's upside down it doesn't really matter but there's washi tape right here to cover up the seam from the paper because I just used the one piece of paper. And then there's washi tabs along the side. This is just copier paper. <clears throat> and I stapled it and it ended up gluing it into the spine. It's it's not, um, it's just meant to be a little doodaddy thing. It's just an extra for my book. So it's not, you know, it doesn't have to go through the war or something. But anyway, so then I put washi tape around the sides, like I said. So then I made this tag. It's just it's just those pecan, pecan chocolate chip cookies with a little blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so then the tag will fit right in there. And so that's what it looks like. So then you can have a tag right there. You have a little pocket. You could write something. You got a tiny pencil. So anyway, that's what I scrap stole from <laughs> Deb Hoke. So... Thank you. I hope you enjoy this. Um, I'm still working away on my uh, my challenge, so as you can tell. So um, I'm getting close. I'm not there yet, but you know, with me, I'm never happy, and so I'll probably mess with it until like July 9th and then post it. But no, I don't know. But anyway, time is wasting, so I got to get busy. So try these out these are really cute and to top it off it's a recycling craft and you know I love me some recycling crafts but anyway bye guys